okay, I don't know what happened there, but I froze. So we're going to have to do this one in a two-parter also. Good eight. So anyway, this person's not a child. They're a foreigner, clearly, but not a child. So I don't understand why this person thinks it's a good idea to tell this person about their sexuality. By the way, I don't know why the quesaritos are only available if you order online. I'm sorry, son, but that makes no sense to me. Okay? Oh, I don't think it's just a quesarito. It might be a five-layer burrito. Yeah. I think that's a five layer burrito. I love how everything's closed like this so nothing pops out. Anywho. But yeah, anyway. So, enters its dreams, enters the shifter's dreams, still trying to talk about his sexuality. And at this point, you know, it is, in a way, abuse. Not, I mean, not really, but, like, what am I wanting to say? Like, just tormenting, you know? Like, your dreams are supposed to be something that's untouched, okay? In movies, the things that enter your dream are evil. So, the fact that the shifter didn't want to be there in the first place, and yet you're not letting it go without it knowing about your sexuality? Like, what? And honestly, there was no point... In taking it in the first place. I figured the point why it took the shifter in the first place. Was because it wanted to apologize to it. For what it's grandfather did. But it didn't. It's like. You could have done that. But instead you're wanting to tell it about your sexuality. I'm like you're missing the whole point of the plot here son. So therefore I'm not allowing you to have any more plots. Because you clearly are not seeing the point of your own plot. You know and then. My friend, who plays the shifter, is basically having to RP for this person. So I'm like, you clearly cannot even complete your own plot. So, yeah. Yeah, entering his dreams. Like, your dreams are supposed to be a peaceful place, and nobody's supposed to go in there and mess around with you while you're sleeping. So... That happened. And when that happened, that was like a week ago. And so clearly the rest of us are just moving on with our lives and stuff like that because this person's never on. Clearly this plot is never going to be done. So, whatever. Okay, we're going to need to transfer to a plate now. So, moving on from the plot crapola, though. Is... A more rant type map. Okay, we just leave that in there. Mm. Oh, that could have ended badly. Okay. All right, well, leave that in there too. A more rant type matter. Because, mm, you know, in these videos when I'm talking about people, I try not to use names. Where really, in case y'all missed one of my past videos of one of my rant videos, I believe I called it, my friend was asking me, she's like, Maya, how you, how you have, or sorry, uh, they, he's a trans, but, uh, he said, Maya, how you get so much RP bitches? <laughs> I'm like, I'll tell you how. So, um, yeah, there's a video, and I think at the time I labeled each person a number. It's a number. I did not use names. I use numbers. 
So, and if y'all figure out who you are, then I'm like, that's not on me. Somebody was like, what if they find out who you are? And what if they find out who they are? What number they are? I don't give a shit. Now, the, whatever this is, I think I, last time we didn't like it, but I got it anyway, just because. Oh my god. And it will not come off. Okay. So. But in this one. I kind of don't know. How to hide them. So. We just want to have at it. Um. Okay. So this one chick. At times, okay, I always have problems with those people, and we have told them not to be attention seekers. Like, mm, that's too lettuce and tomatoey. Give me some other flavors. But, you know, in our plea, there's like, don't be meta, and go God mod. Don't, like, Play other people's characters for them, you know. No, that jives. But I think I've explained RP lingo before, so I'm not going to do it again. Um, anywho, but this person, we always complain about attention seekers, you know. So, like, don't come into the OOC, which is out of character chat, and be like, you can be, like, who's available and stuff like that. Or, you can do what is kind of mandatory and read the effing chat. A lot of people do not read back. I'm like, like a good book, you cannot start in the middle. Okay, you need to read back to see what has happened. So, you could do that. Or, you know, oh, she look, look right. She is why I have a charger by me. Because I knew that I was gonna have a low battery run in here um get out of the way hookah so yeah and I was like hold on I gotta and we are charging okay so excuse me Yeah, so this person doesn't attention seek like a lot of them do. But, oh, by the way, if you don't read back, that's an easy way to be meta. And we all know meta is a no-no. That's a shame on you, no-no. But anywho, so this person is an attention seeker herself. As in, she has to be the center of attention. You know, and those kind of people are very annoying. It's as annoying as a person... Who has to shut you down as soon as you say something good? Like, let's say, oh, I got a new puppy and stuff like that. And then someone comes on and be like, it's going to die in five years. You know, like, just don't, don't, don't. Didn't your mama tell you if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say nothing at all? You know? Don't say nothing, Karen. Don't say nothing, Karen. Don't be a Karen. Okay. So, anyway, so, just the, and this happened just the other day. Um, probably not the only time, but definitely not the other only time. Because we go on calls and it's all about her. You know, and some of it is about stuff we already know. And some of it is about stuff we just really don't care about. <laughs> you know, and I'm too nice of a person to just say, shut up! You know, so it's like, I don't even tell people when my food is wrong. I don't even, I'm not even the kind of person that goes up to the waiter or waitress and be like, uh, there's something fucking wrong with my food. I need everything back. I need this, 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 you know, no, I'm not, I'm not one to be a bitch when dealing with other people in a matter of when my shit's wrong. Like if they do my nails wrong or something like that, you know, I'm not a person to speak up. I'm just like, just, just take it. Just take it. When it's food, I'm like, it's food. Just eat it. 
I mean, unless it's got bacon on it or something I can't eat, you know, then, you know, there's no need to say anything. Or, you know, you, your steak's not cooked properly. There's been many times where I cook, the steak hasn't been cooked properly. Um, but I'm not rude about it if I'm going to say something. My daddy is a little rude about it. <laughs> Don't piss off that man. Um, but, yeah, so anyway, so just recently I was talking to my friend on Smule and came across a reminder of a certain song. Oh, wait, no. No, sorry, just, I don't know what we were talking about, but I just shared a song from, and I was like, sometimes we share random stuff in the OOC. Um, so I just shared something, and I'm like, here's for all y'all Hobbit fans. It's it's um, the word, the song Icy Fire from the end credits. And my good friend, oh, she is a blessing from above. It's like the best admin I've ever had, and she's just like, the best chica I've ever had, me and her like this. Like, seriously, she's like, you remind me of my, she's like, I, she tell me I crack her up all the time. And she's like, you remind me of my best friend. I'm like, you know what, then I believe we would all three be good together. But she lived all the way in London. That's the downfall. But not because she lives in London, but, you know, because she's all the way over there and I'm over here. You know, uh, Louie, love you, boo-boo. Um, anywho, so I shared this song and she's like, coincidentally, she's like, oh my gosh, I love that song. That is the first time I ever sang on Shmuel. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that is hella coincidental. So anyway, and then she's like, um, yeah, she's like, would you like to see it? And stuff like that. And I'm like, yes. And then here this other person comes popping in like a piece of popcorn and goes and make, <laughs> shut up over there. And it's like. Randomly, it has absolutely nothing to do with it. I mean, you could say something popping in, say something about Ed Sheeran, or talk about something about The Hobbit or something like that. This person had nothing at all to do with what the conversation was, you know? So they just pop in, and what they share is a song that just has absolutely nothing to do with it. I'm not going to say what song or anything. Okay, it was, it was, it was, I'll make a man out of you. Okay. And I'm like, yeah, that I, if someone did that to me, I would think that fucking rude. Because first of all, no one was talking to you. Okay. Second of all, that song has absolutely nothing to do with what we are talking about. Okay. And thirdly. She states, the joke is at the end. I'm like, yeah, honey, I've seen that video before, and it ain't no joke. Okay? It's corny, corny, and you ain't funny. Okay? And y'all still can't sing. And I'm sorry, not sorry, but I hate listening to people who can't sing. Okay, so at the end of that video, she thinks it's hilarious that she painted herself as a cat. Okay, and then by the end of the video, she turns herself into a man. Yeah, no, no, that ain't gonna leave nobody laughing. That's just gonna leave them like, okay, I see what you did by turning yourself into a man, but why was you a cat, boo-boo? Why were you a cat? Ain't no cats in this song. Ain't no cats. That's a dragon. Maybe a chicken. A dog. A horse. And a cricket. Okay? Ain't no cats. I think you need to go on that little animal spin wheel again. And uh, decide what that is. Okay? But it wasn't a cat. Ain't no cats in there. Mm. But, uh, yeah, so... I just find that kind of rude. It's like, okay, we're having a decent conversation here. And yet, this bitch feels the need to pop in and post something completely irrelevant. I hate irrelevance. Okay? Stupid people and irrelevance. Okay? That's the two, that's the two no-nos. No. 
No, take it away. Because, okay. Uh, so anyways. Oh, I'm sorry. Now also, the people who say anyways. Okay. Ain't no N. Uh, ain't no S on the end of that. Okay. You go into the dictionary and look up anyway. Ain't no S on that. Okay. Okay. I'm glad we could educate y'all. Those who say, anyways, it's just, y'all, it gets, anytime I see somebody use that, I, I cringe. I do cringe. Ooh! This is the Gordita Crunch. Best part about this crunch is the spicy ranch. That is the best part. Okay, and it's a little sticking to the papers here. You know what? That's what we should do. We should leave the paper down. We don't need no plates. Oh, no. See, that's a good taco. So, yeah. I think that's about the last thing that I have texted in there. I'm gonna give it a lie in that bite. I don't want to spend all my time eating that though. Even though that's delicious because I got way more coming. Okay, not way more. Just a few more. So, then, okay, person, see, this is the quesarito. Let me some quesaritos. And I thought before, one of the options was that you could have chicken in here. Yeah, it is. It says right here. Oh, no, we didn't. I thought you could have chicken as an option, too, in here. But the options was only beef and steak. Like, okay. Always good. I don't think they specify. I don't think it matters what they wrap it with because it says toasted breakfast burrito. I don't think they just wrap them with anything. Anyway, um, next thing I want to get to though, yeah, so, in this new chat, which is a pretty cool chat, and it's one that we have been RPing in most, because it's fun, like that. That's some very spicy, my French, what is it, what is it, French, French, French. Because it's like, there are four different areolas. Whoa. There's witches slash wizards. Uh, <clears throat> vampires, werewolves. And I don't know, why the hell does it look like it keeps taking pictures? And Faye... Which, I guess, is for fairies, or the shifters, or just people with special abilities that don't really have a place in those other three places. And each realm has an amulet that has a different power. Uh, anyway, the amulets ain't important to my point. Uh, so anyway, Klaus killed the former king. Of the werewolves. No, sorry. Of the vampires. And as y'all know, Klaus is a hybrid, so he's a werewolf and a vampire. And an original. But we ain't having none of his original abilities in here. Like, he can't reproduce more hybrids. Um, 
I don't know if we're doing the killing thing with his venom. I think we are with his venom. I think we're doing that. Um, still doing, I think, that he can only be killed with the white oak steak. But, anywho. So, Klaus is the king now. And I also brought in Rebecca. This other person was like, oh, Maya, let me play, like, what other character can I play? Like, those kind of people that just feel like they can only RP if they're attached to an, someone else. Like, if they, you know, are someone else's significant other or sister or whatever. It's like, uh, first of all, you are a bad RPer. Okay? And you're annoying as shit. So, uh, no, kindly fuck off. You cannot play any of the characters who associate with me, especially not Rebecca, okay, or the evil version of Elena. I can't remember her name. Catherine. Like, uh, no, you can't play important characters because you're going to ruin them for me, which these people are already ruining characters for me by playing Phoebe and Cole from Charmed, although the person playing Cole hasn't been on and has not been on for, like, centuries so, I don't even know why he's in the chat. But, anywho. So, I'm like, hell no. This person can't play Rebecca. So, I started playing Rebecca. Started playing Rebecca. And, so, anyway. The person who played the shifter. Plays the former king who Klaus just killed. And we have it that if you get killed, you lose your memory and regenerate within no. one, no, within a few days. I forget. But, um, yeah, so anyway, so he regenerated. He doesn't have his memory back, but he somehow got to Rebecca and Rebecca took him into the palace. And even though this person is supposed to be with Rebecca, they are stalking Klaus. It's like, are you trying to have him kill you again? Because he will. Because this is Klaus. Okay? So, like, if this person makes this Eric, the former king, follow him more, I'm literally going to flip out and be like, like, literally... He will be killed again if he keeps bothering Klaus like that. But, yeah, that's that. But, yeah, it's like, I can take it if there's a little messing with characters, but when it gets to the point where it's annoying, I'm just like, I can't. Anywho, this is the last item. It's like, it's, I've had the chicken quesadillas, but I have not had a steak quesadilla. So, I decided to get the steak. See if it makes a difference or anything. But I love the sauce that is in these quesadillas. Personally, I think the chicken's better. Yeah, it's almost three left in the fraternity. But. This was so excited. Anyway. Yeah. Clearly, y'all saw my dad's home now. It's gonna be running his mouth. So, I'll end this video. We'll leave y'all with that. Um, and, uh, yeah, stay true and do you. Okay, bye. Oops.